Good morning. Welcome to Old School Chemistry. Let's talk about the acid strength for hydrogen halides. Uh, remember, a strong acid is one that 100% ionizes. So a stronger acid will more easily ionize, more readily ionize. Now, this hydrogen halide, HX, is going to be our symbol for that, where X represents our halogens. Um, it depends on two things. One of them is more important than the other. The first one is bond strength. And here's your big takeaway, all right? Here's what you can take to the bank. The weaker the bond, the stronger the acid. Because if it's a weaker bond, it more easily breaks apart. It more easily ionizes. That's the emphasis. That's the most important thing to look at. Now, the second thing that still is a consideration, but not as heavily weighted as bond strength, is the negative value of the electron attachment enthalpy. Think in your head electronegativity, that fluorine has the greatest electronegativity, the greatest ability to attract electrons to itself. That would uh, create this electron attachment enthalpy, that idea in your mind. And here's your takeaway. The less electronegative, the stronger the acid. So the um, less the ability of a halogen to attract electrons to itself, the easier that's going to be to break that apart for that acid to break into the hydrogen ion and that halide ion. So I have uh, an example here. Just looking down our periodic table, we've got the fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and the iodine with our binary acids here, these hydrogen halides. Notice the relationship. So as you go down this list, going down the periodic table, you have a stronger acid because down here, the hydrogen uh, and the iodine, this is going to have a weaker bond and be less electronegative. It's going to have a less negative electron attachment enthalpy right there. So there's an inverse relationship if I look at this based on the periodic table. Again, strength increases as you go down that periodic table because as I go up, the HF is going to have the greatest electronegativity, so the most negative electron attachment enthalpy, and it has a stronger bond. It has a stronger bond. You can even think Coulomb's law. Um, because this is a smaller atom, it's going to have um, a shorter distance between the positive and the negative uh, attraction. Um, and so it's going to hold tighter. It's going to be a stronger bond. I do have a numeric example for you. I wanted to compare bond strength as well as that electron attachment enthalpy for our hydrofluoric acid and the hydroiodic acid. Look at the HF right here. Its bond strength is 565, and the hydroiodic acid is only 299. That's a significant difference right there. Um, now, if we look at the electron attachment enthalpy, Hydrofluoric acid is more negative, is more negative, greater ability uh, to attract those electrons, whereas the hydro, hydroiodic acid is only the negative 295. Now, if you look numerically, you can see the biggest difference numerically is that bond strength, is that bond strength. So there's your takeaway. Think about the periodic table. As you go down the periodic table, you're going to increase strength because these, uh, Acids are going to more easily, more readily break apart. They're going to more easily ionize, which makes them a stronger acid. Uh, hydrofluoric acid technically is considered a weak acid. It doesn't even 100% dissociate or ionize. These three, hydrochloric, hydrobromic, hydroiodic, those are all strong acids because they 100% ionize. And it all depends on the bond strength primarily and then that uh, negative electron enthalpy. Uh, if you're interested in our oxy acids, I'll link up above that you can also uh, follow strength of oxy acids next. Thank you. Have a good day.